Alright guys, this is a couple days later and uh, you know your boy did the most jankiest mod he possibly could to the E46. I do not recommend going cheap on a short shifter. Short shifters, they range from like 15 to 30 bucks and then they jump all the way up to like 150 to 200. For me, I never intended on keeping the E46. I was like a cheap short shifter. I don't really care, but it turns out even a cheap short shifter doesn't even fit. Like, I don't even understand how the hell they got this on market. It doesn't fit at all. You have to completely reshape the entire thing. So unless you're gonna go Arab style on this thing, I don't recommend buying it. But today, guys, I figured out my fuel pump went bad on my uh, E46, so uh, we're gonna have to do something about that. But before we do, I wanna show you guys something real quick. This is what I have to go through every single time I'm trying to make a video, and every time I leave the house. So basically, my dad's car has to be in here. My M3 is just in here because how everything, you know, how everything goes out. Usually my sister leaves the house first. So usually, normally the, the Corolla is behind my BMW, so she goes out early morning. Uh, my parent, my mom's car, she goes out early morning. Um, and then, you know, me, I typically don't leave early morning because uh, hashtag blessed just until school starts and then hashtag but anyway, just the way everyone leaves first, and then, so if my uh, my parents put their other car here, um, I'll be behind them, and then they have to wake me up early so I can move my car so they get their car out. So basically, yeah. So this is pretty much how I go about making my videos and how I have to move all the cars. Guys, I'm getting tired of this, honestly. So you guys can see an oil, small oil leak coming from my M3. This is from the last couple days. And the E46 has a bigger leak coming from the drain plug. I don't know if you guys, I told you guys, but the drain plug has like a stupid, the drain plug goes in at an angle. It doesn't go up straight, it goes in like that. So oil comes out of the side that's going at the angle like right here, so it's really stupid. Whoever did the oil change on this thing is stupid, I'm sorry. So yeah, I already talked to my mechanic. He said drop this off whenever you want. It's gonna be $150, we'll rethread it. We would do all this, this, and that. Things like this, I wish I could just do myself, but the thing is, you have to clean it all out. You pretty much, you need the tools, I need the space. I wanna basically get a lift in here and start doing stuff like that because once I do have a lift, this stuff will be very easy. I don't wanna sit on the, when I'm underneath the car, I don't know if I'm putting it at the right angle with the right pressure. When you're looking at the car upwards, you know exactly, you know, dead center, all this stuff. I don't wanna mess this up. I don't wanna have to get a whole new oil pan, drop the subframe, so 150 bucks, may seem like a lot to get it re-threaded with a new screw and everything, but it's not that much considering that that's gonna fix all the leaks on this E46 and it's gonna be perfect, like absolutely perfect. And that's what I want this car to be because you guys, I don't know if you guys know, but right there, I got an E46 upgraded bumper. I'm not gonna tell you guys what bumper that is exactly, maybe I've already said it, but for those of you guys who stay tuned, you guys know what bumper that is. So I got a new bumper for this because it's the ugliest thing in the world. And then we have some wrap coming in. I was actually intending on wrapping this car white, but instead, my friend, he's going off to Texas, so he ended up taking my white wrap and I just changed the color. So this wasn't gonna be wrapped in white at first, and just do like a white and black theme, but I'm actually gonna go with something different. So you guys will see that hopefully in a future video. As of now, I don't know if you guys can see, let me show you guys. If I go ahead and put in the keys, I don't know if you guys can see the gas gauge, but basically that gas gauge was at 50% for a week. And then literally that's all it's went down for a week. And when I fill it up with gas, like two gallons, it didn't go up at all. So, Either this thing is very slow because it did go down a little bit or it's broken, um, like the actual gauges. But you can see when I turn off the car, the gauge drops. So I think it has to do with the actual fuel level sensor, which is with the fuel pump. So we're just gonna be replacing that right now. Um, I don't like doing that stuff, but uh, gotta do what you gotta do. So we replaced the fuel pump. Me and Jonathan uh, replaced the fuel pump on my friend's E46 M3. So it should be the same. Don't mind all these water bottles. Okay, get all this stuff cleared out. Just pull up on the seat. Ugh, come on now. Come on now. Ugh. And here is the fuel pump. So I don't know if you guys have ever replaced a fuel pump before, but it's pretty easy actually. Let me show you guys something real quick. Ah, the stupid hose being a pain up here. I'm trying to get this hose out, but I already got everything else ready. I can pull out the pump as soon as I get the stupid hose off. So let me just get to it. All right, guys, this has definitely been replaced before. That does not, that looks definitely aftermarket. Um, obviously, the ones I'm gonna be putting in here right now is gonna be aftermarket, and we'll see if there's any difference. If not, we'll return the new one, and uh, this thing looks pretty good. There's nothing wrong with it, but 
I guess it doesn't work properly because it's cheap. I went with like an $80 one, not too cheap. This is like a $20 one. So hopefully the one I got is a little bit better. All right guys, out with the old. And this is the new. So let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So yeah, this is the field pump I went with. I uh, found it on Amazon. It's about $80. Uh, I don't know, it's just 100% tested, good to go. OEM fitment. So uh, let's hope for the best here and go ahead and install this guy. All right, yo, I'm gonna go ahead and put the key in here. All right, let's see if I hear anything coming out of here. You guys are supposed to hear it primer. Uh, not primer, but you should hear it like turning on basically. So let's go ahead and turn on the car. I'm gonna go ahead and put the car in accessory and hopefully we can hear this thing primer. Yep, it just primered up. So uh, hopefully this fuel gauge works. Now that's weird. It's the same exact spot. I guess the only way to figure out if it really worked is to drive it around for a little bit and see if that changes. You're supposed to reset it, but this thing's broken, uh, so that sucks. Uh, so maybe it's gotta do, go through coating, I'm not sure, but I guess that will level out over time when the car actually drives. All right, so went ahead and bolted that back together. Let's go ahead and throw in the back seats. As rear seats are in, everything's back in together. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out for a spin and hopefully, uh, you know, no issues, no bogging, no nothing. For those of you guys probably wondering what happened to the M shift knob, for some reason this is not fitting the short shifter, only the OEM one. So I'm gonna have to get some aluminum trim and OEM shift boot and OEM shift knob, unfortunately. But that's not a big deal. The main thing is I wanna get some two sports seats or two uh, M3 seats or two bucket seats. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna put here. You guys let me know, but uh, more to come, more to come. All right, guys, I think it's time. Let's go ahead and take it out. Take it out for a draw ride. All right guys, I'm gonna take you on a quick little spin. I don't know if you guys can see the lights and everything. Gas is still the same. So maybe when I let it sit for a little bit, the, the actual fuel level went to where it's at. And I'm assuming that's where it's at. We're gonna take it out for a quick little spin and see if this will readjust. So far so good. Oh my God, this feels so good. I love the short shift. It actually feels so good, oh my Lord. I might have to do it on my M3. But don't worry, on the M3, I'll probably get like a $300 one to be safe. I don't know if you guys can hear, it sounds so good. It's popping, oh my lord. Oh my lord. Dude, this sounds way better. I don't know what the hell. Oh my goodness. Oh, well that's new. I just got a coolant light. Okay, the coolant light came on and then directly straight off. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's not there anymore. The E46 is gonna need a little bit of topping off, but uh, let's just get to it. Let's get some OEM coolant. The last bottle I have because Muhammad stole most of it. Anyways. All right guys, see the coolant level. Yep, it could definitely be topped off. So it's not too bad though. It's not like empty. Oh, it's empty, what do you mean? Nah, it's good. <laughs> he thought I was completely empty. <laughs> All right, guys, little update. This is the next morning. We're gonna go ahead and take out the car for a little ride. We're gonna take it down to the shop actually to get the drain plug fixed. Because again, like I want no issues with this car. I want it to be perfect for the next owner. If we get to sell in the near future for a better build, so I don't. I, I can deal with the small oil leak, but I don't want the next owner to deal with this. So let's take, let's take it down to the shop, get it sorted out. But also, we're gonna be testing out the fuel pumps. So I'm gonna take a little bit of gas with me to make sure that you know it just gives out. We're good to go. I wanna make sure everything's good to go. Um, so without further ado, let's head out. We gotta head by the gas station first. You guys can actually see I drove it a little last night and the fuel gauge actually went down. So that's a good sign. It looks like it is working, but uh, just to be safe, just in case that's inaccurate and we're almost out of fuel, uh, I'm gonna get try to get some fuel with us just to make sure we are good to go. We're not gonna be stuck on the highway. Guys, with the downshifts on this car is insane. See if we can go ahead and hear the pops real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in second right now. It's not too bad. The other one was insane. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see, got about three gallons worth. Go ahead and set it down right here. We are good to go. Yep, his car, he's gonna take me home. Shout out to you, my dude. 
let's head out. All right, guys, a true test right here to see if my car just stalls out and whether I have to get this thing towed or this gas is gonna be enough or the fuel gauge is actually being right, which is best case scenario. So uh, we're testing the fuel gauge. Hopefully everything goes well. Guys, what just happened? It's like a truck just crashed, like a triple A truck. Check this out. All right, guys, I'm here at my local shop. Uh, pretty much the gas gauge did go down a little bit, but uh, so far, no weirding, no, nothing weird. I think it's actually working. Still unsure. I'm gonna take this gas just in case they try to steal it from me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> so far, so good. I'm really happy. So, Viaz here with me here at the shop. Um, pretty much just dropped off the car. About to go in there. Maybe I gotta figure out a good thumbnail. I'm probably gonna take a picture of the car here, how it sits. And then picture the front of the shop and use some Photoshop because I gotta learn. I gotta learn how to use this stuff. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Let's drop it off and hopefully you can fix this stupid oil issue. So what you thinking? Huh? What you thinking? Apparently it was just a screw the entire time. The threads were perfect, but uh, it's all good. All right guys, so we're back home now, super late. I don't know if you guys can see, it's like super late out right now. Basically, we are home. E46 is 100% good to go. No more leaks, no more AC issues, no more fuel issues. Everything is fixed, which means we can get right into the mods, which I'm super hyped about. But we're gonna hold off just a little bit because we're gonna be doing some E92 things, some insane mods coming in from all kinds of sponsors. I'm sure you guys are ready for that. And an exhaust mod coming in soon, so. If you guys are excited for all that, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are wondering who won the giveaway, I'll be announcing that soon. So, yeah, stay tuned. Without further ado, guys, remember to stay humble. Love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.